What's going on, YouTube? It is Team Greylock here. I'm your host, Enrico. And I gotta say to all my wonderful, beautiful faces out there, mm, this is just miss you, miss you, love you, love you. Welcome back to our channel. Today we have a Carfet Vanguard Standard Market Watch, meaning every Thursday we do a Market Watch on Standard Format, and every Friday we do Market Watches on Premium Format. So today we're gonna look at the Market, wa the market and see what Standard Cards are money, which ones are minus, and which ones are plus. Now, I'm, not, I'm, I'm gonna tell you guys right now there is a lot of buyouts and the buyouts are for basically for one get for for one sided clan for a gift clan all the buyouts are happening with excel clan now of course this, the strongest set right now at the moment magic academy carfa vanguard club this set has so much value mainly gold paladins and nurakami but of course the image rares ezels is 80 dollars to 90 and the legend magus is 55 to 65 bucks so the image rares in this set are definitely money they're more than 50 bucks each the origin rares the most expensive one is still knight of friendship k and better vera is 36 to 37 and monarch alfred scrs are slowly going up up to the $35 range there's only four listings up right now at the moment so I wouldn't be surprised if Alfreds go up to 38 or 30 or even 40 Raven hair as well SVRs are still th uh, 30 to 32 bucks not really surprised because Raven hair as just came out I'm pretty sure a lot of people are pulling Ra Raven hair as and people are just simply don't care about Raven hair as but eventually I'm pretty sure Raven hair as will go up so I'm pretty sure the SVR will go up eventually give them give it like a good month or two and this card Dragonic Death Side the origin rare is still $31 I'm still surprised that this card is actually keeping its value, but there's another surprise the triple R We're gonna look at the triple R for Death Scythe in a bit uh, Joe Dragon of course is still 29 to 30 bucks not really surprised about that because Nurakami is broken Nurakami is touching the meta Nurakami is doing really well in the meta even though Nurakami right now at the moment They're not like tier zero. They're still a good competitive deck that a lot of people are seeing top Joe Dragon SVRs are th 30 bucks at the moment, but keep in mind There's only four listings up right now at the moment for Joe Dragon so I'm pretty sure Joel Dragon is only gonna go up. And as for the Murakumo SVR, of course, is 19 bucks, and Magus is 20 to 21 bucks. It's pretty cheap. Uh, the Numatama Origin Rare is still 30 bucks, and only four copies on, on online. The Tonics Joel Dragon, the VR is 22 bucks, and there's only six copies online. Now, funny thing is, there's only th a couple listings up for 22 bucks. After these. After these three listings, uh, Joel Dragon is a twenty-eight to thirty-dollar card. So keep that in mind. If you guys are trying to pick up Joel Dragons, pick them up now. There's only three copies left for twenty-two bucks and lower. And then after that, Joel Dragon VRs are hitting the twenty-eight dollar range. So definitely pick them up now while you can. Scarlet Witch Coco Origin Rares are still seventeen to eighteen. Monarch Alphas are still sixteen to seventeen. Raven Hell Ezels are still fifteen and sixteen. Again, there's a lot of copies of Raven Hell Ezel, so I recommend to pick them up now. Garmar Origin Rare is still twelve to thirteen. Magus is Barely ten dollars. I called it. I knew this card was gonna be a cheap VR. This VR is just dropping down in value. Magacha Storm is about to hit the seven dollar range. Used to be eight to eight to nine bucks last time we saw it. Now this card is down to seven forty. Blaster Blade, the SP, I don't know why we got this. Again, this card is going down to six dollars. The SP, nobody wants it. There's actually a lot of copies online for the SP Blaster Blade. Tetra Magus is still five to six. The Grade Two Magatsu Gale is still six to seven. The Tonic uh, Stinger Dragon is still five to six. And Death Scythe. Oh man. All right. So this card, this card was bought out. I don't know why. I really don't understand why. Because again, this card, it's a great card. It's a seven. It's a seventeen K when you activate the turn when you activate the effect. Then afterwards, it's a 13k beat stick basically but the cost for his effect is soul blast 2 which is pretty high but the bio on this card is real so far right now at the moment there's a couple listings left for 12 bucks each but then after those you're hitting the 13 dollar range and that is very expensive for dragonic death scythe because last time we saw dragonic death scythe like at five to six bucks and is actually going up in value not a loyalty better there is four to five bucks not a friendship k is four to five bucks the narcami pg is hitting the three to four dollar range so the buyout on the narcami pg is real is happening now so if you guys are planning on building narcami buy them now buy the pgs while you still can they're about to hit the four dollar range as you guys can tell there's a couple for three three forty three forty six three forty nine and then eventually we're gonna hit the three seventy seven and then eventually to the four dollar range speaking of narcami the narcami trial deck the triggers are still money they're still 20 bucks the the critical trigger is 28 to 29 bucks which is insane but then for the masaki one psychic bird is 50 bucks there's only one copy 
left. It's now 50 bucks. Get, I'm pretty sure no one's gonna buy it. Eventually, I'm pretty sure Psychic Bird will drop down to 40, possibly 35 bucks. Ultra Rare Micro Collection, so much value in this set. All the prices are going up, and I'm not talking about the regular rares, all the ultra rare, all the regular ultra rares. Everything else in this set is so much value. The SVRs, SVRs, Ezels are hitting the 43 to 46 dollar range. SVRs, Oracles are hitting the 38 to 40 dollar range, and SVR uh, Cecilias are now finally going up in value. They're actually 34 to 35. So Cecilias, SVRs are fine. So Cecilia SVRs are finally going up in value. The VR Ezel is $26 to $30, and there's only six listings up right now at the moment. So VR Ezels are also going up. They're basically going to be, be a $30 VR eventually. So Rat Kills are still $25 to $26, not surprised about that. Metatron's Origin Rares are still $20 to $21. Bucks. And Cecilia, the VR, is finally not going up. This card is going up to $22. So the Cecilia is finally going up. Thank God, because this whole time, Cecilia was like an $18 to $19 card. And no Nobody wanted Musketeers in the set. Everyone wanted Angel Feathers or Gold Paladins. Keep in mind, Gold Paladin is doing really well in Premium and Standard. Uh, people are buying them. Uh, people are buying them, of course, because of the whole broken Ezo combo, the superior writing, and all the broken plays. It's just insane right now at the moment. If you guys invested into the case of this set, you guys are making back your money definitely at the moment. Gold Paladins are the main money cards, Angel Feathers, and then Neo Nectars. But so far, all the cards in this set are going up in value there's one cheap listing for the vivian origin rare for 25 bucks but then after that the 35 bucks each knight of superior skill bowmanes is a crazy card at the moment this card price either goes down goes up the cheapest that we saw this card was five bucks when it first came out then eventually became a nine dollar card and now this card is up to the 12 to 13 dollar range in my honest opinion i do not feel like this card will go down 10 bucks anymore i'm pretty sure bowmanes will stay will stay above the 10 dollar range so if you guys are, look, are looking to pick up bowmanes i say pick them up now god forbid bowmanes actually goes back to 15 bucks each god forbid that actually might happen because gold paladins are being bought out people are buying ezels people are buying bowmanes people are even buying the the, the grade three uh, double r uh saga storm it i believe which we're gonna check in a few social mark is still seven to eight bucks the grade two for angel feathers is still five bucks the Met metatron three to four bucks not really surprised about that but again the shocker in this set is a double r vivian is four to five bucks the uh, great the great one but rebecca is two to three bucks Cyber Storm, oh, this card is now a four to five dollar card. This card used to be less than a dollar. This card was like 90 cents or 99 cents. Now, now this card is hitting the five dollar range, which is insane. And there's actually only a couple listings. There's seven listings up for five bucks and change, but then after that, they're 10 bucks. Strongest Team L4, a lot of prices has spiked in the set. Phantom Blaster Dragon SVRs are hitting the 50 dollar range now. The regular VR Phantom Blaster Dragons are 45 bucks to 46. Now, I don't I don't understand that because the SVR is literally $46. There's one listing for $46, and you're telling me the VR is $45? bucks. That's I'm pretty sure eventually the Phantom Blaster Dragon price will, co will come down to like $40 or even $35. Bucks. Hopefully, this VR goes down to $30 bucks again, but so far at the moment, Phantom Blaster Dragon is money VR, SVR, and the Secret Campaign version. Darkness Maiden Maka Origin Rare is $40. Bucks. <laughs> There's one for $43, and then the other one's for $47, so Makas are going up a as well zambaku svrs are about to hit the 30 dollar range they actually already did there's one copy left for 28 bucks after that the, the svr zambakus are 35 35 to 40 dollars so zambaku svrs are officially now money blast of dark image rares are still 28 bucks uh nightmare dot alice is still 17 to 18 uh death anchor svrs are still 20 to 21 bucks zambakus are eight still i mean the vr zambaku for the longest, I mean, I think last time we saw like at, like at 16 change. So I guess you can say Zambaku VR has went up a little bit. Maybe it probably went up like a quarter or 50 cents or seven or 75 cents. Uh, Golden Beast Tamer is 14 and 15. Death Anchor VR is still is uh, 12 12 bucks. And uh, Skullwitch the Main is about to hit the ten dollar range again. Skullwitch the Main last time we saw it at seven bucks. Now Skullwitch the Main is right, right now at the moment is nine nine to ten bucks, nine bucks and change. But eventually, I'm pretty sure uh, Skullwitch the Main will be back to a ten dollar card. So definitely, rec I definitely recommend to pick up the Skullwitch the Mains now before they go up there. And even the Black Black Sage, this card is also going up. Last time we saw this card at five bucks. Now this card is now heading towards the seven dollar range, which is crazy. Uh, the Merc. Kuma PG is three to four bucks. Well, actually, four to five bucks. Makos are dirt cheap. Makos are worthless. Don't even worry about those. Now, 
Last time, now I'm pretty sure the PG for Shadow Paladin is also going up. Dark Shield Maglear, this card, I've been seeing it move a lot. I've been selling a lot of them lately. And I'm pretty, and right now at the moment, there's only two listings up right now. Right now one for two bucks and change, the other one for three bucks. And then eventually after these two listings, we're seeing uh, the Maglear at five to six bucks. So keep that in mind. If you guys are trying to build Shadow Paladin, I recommend to pick up the PGs now. They are going up in value. They're hitting the $5 range. So I guess it's that time for Shadow Paladin PG to, to finally go up to the $5 range. And then eventually, I'm pretty sure the MacLear PG will hit the $8 range. Another random price spike, Rune Shade is now hitting the $4 range. Rune Shade for the longest was selling for like two bucks and change. Well, actually barely $2. Rune Shade was always like $1.90 or $1.98. Now Rune Shade is finally hitting the $4 to $5 range. There's actually only, only a couple listings up for four bucks. And then after that, we're seeing Rune Shade hit the $6 range. Unite Team Q4 is so much value in this set. The the SVRs are money, the VRs are money, the PGs are money, and a lot of the triple R's are also money. Good news though, King of Knights offered the regular VR is down to $23. Finally, this card has calmed down in price. Last time we saw offered at 30 bucks, which I understand a lot of people are getting ready for the play role paladins, but I honestly don't believe that this King of Knights Alfred is relevant now. So King of Knights Alfred is finally going down to its regular price range of $22 to $23. Blaster Blade Blaster Blade Image Rare is now 30 bucks. Dragonic Waterfall is still 23 bucks. And the Imperial Daughter is we have actually we Imperial Daughter is actually pretty cheap right now at the moment for 19 bucks each. Even though they're lightly played, that's still pretty much worth it because I'm pretty sure the other Imperial Daughters are like 20 to 22 bucks. So there's actually a couple listings up for 19 bucks and change for Imperial Daughter. So definitely definitely recommend to take advantage of that if you're looking to build OTTs. Blaster Blade Origin Rare is also going up in value. There's one lightly lightly played for 15 and then and then the other one for 17. But then after these two listings, uh, the Origin Rare Blaster Blade, we're seeing it at $35. <laughs> And then $60. Again, ladies and gentlemen, Blaster Blade Orange Rare is now officially a collector's card. This card is definitely going up in value. Again, if you guys want to pick it up, pick it up now. There's one for, for $15 and then, and then the other one for $17. Uh, perfect, perfect Razor SVRs are 17 to 18. The PG for OTT have finally calmed down. Last time the market watch we saw it miss missed at 20 bucks, and finally a lot of people are listing up their PGs for OTT, and we finally see a nice price of 11 dollars for the PG for for OTTs. So hopefully the OTT PG stays at 11 dollars. Hopefully it doesn't go up anymore. Perfect Razors are seven to eight bucks. Circle Magus is actually actually went down. Circle Magus is barely six bucks and change. Uh, Flame of Hope Aramo is seven to eight bucks, and Berserk Dragon is now about to hit the ten dollar range. It's kind of confu Berserk Dragon is a little bit confusing because Berserk Dragon either goes down in value or goes up in value. Now, currently at the moment, Berserk Dragons are now hitting the ten dollar range. Algos the SP version, there's one for forty bucks, but then after that, Algos is finally hitting the fifty three to four to fifty five dollar range. So SP Algos are are basically a, co a, a collector's card, and they're going off the market. Also, keep in mind. The Blaster Dark SP is also leaving the market. Last time we saw Blaster Blade SP for like 40 to 45 bucks, but now the SP Blaster Dark is hitting the 52 to 50 to 60 dollar range. So now this card is officially becoming a collector's card again. This card is going up in value. Imagine the gift markers are my favorite part of the market watches for standard, for standard format, and of course the gift marker prices are insane. The corn gift marker, the new one, is basically 190, and then after that is 200 bucks each. The Masaki gift marker. Is 135 to 140. The Nuki gift marker is actually going down in value. They're actually going. They're actually holding at 80 bucks each. The Protect gift marker is 150 to, 150 to 200. The Rekka gift marker is 85 to 88. Mas the old Masaki gift marker is 60 69 to 71 bucks. The Shingo gift marker is is 45 bucks. Again, do not spend more than 20 bucks on this gift marker. The Shingo gift marker will go down eventually. Just keep holding off on it. And keep in mind, there's actually a lot of copies online that people are trying to get rid of the Shingo gift marker. So the Shingo gift marker will go down. Keep that in mind. Leon Saryu is still 7 uh, 75 bucks Nagisa gift marker is still a hundred bucks the blaster blade hot stamp gift marker is actually going up in value there's one left for 50 bucks and then after that 
It's $100 for the Blaster Blade gift marker. And of course, I'm pretty sure that card is now officially a collector's card. The Goki gift marker is 35 to 36. The Pale Moon Golden Beast Tamer is 15, 15 to 16. Draconic Overlord Hot Stamp is 30 to 30 to $38. So that card is going up. Uh, Magus is still 20 25 bucks. Ren gift marker is 26 to 27 And the old Aichi gift marker is 26 to 27 Imperial Daughter. This card is actually going up in value. Imperial Daughter, last time we saw it at 21 to 22 the gift marker for Imperial Daughter is actually going up to 24 bucks after these two listings. And keep in mind, there's only three listings up right, right now at the moment for the Imperial Daughter gift markers. So they're actually going to go up. So if you guys are looking to pick them up, definitely recommend to pick them up now. Phantom Blaster Dragon gift markers are actually down in value. Last time we saw this card for 21 to 22 bucks. Now this card is actually down to barely $20. Kai Hot Stamp is 30 to 31 bucks. Uh, Death Anchors are 13 to 14. Tetsu is, is 17 to 20 bucks. And this this Excel gift marker is actually going up in value. For the longest, this gift marker was like 17 to 18 bucks, and now this gift marker is heading towards the 22 to 25 dollar range. So this gift marker is actually being bought out. Again, a lot of Excel, a lot of Excel cards, a lot of Excel clans, all of them are being bought out. A lot of their prices keep going up. But if you don't feel like spending that much money on an Excel gift marker, on a nice Excel gift marker, you can always purchase an Zambaku gift marker for for 10 bucks. Well, 11 bucks, and there's actually a lot of listings up for 11 bucks each for the Zambaku gift marker. So I definitely recommend to pick those up instead of instead of paying like 20 bucks on the Excel gift markers. Gigantic waterfalls are 28 to 29. Uh, King and Knights Alfreds are 14 to 15. Kamui gift marker is still holding at 20 to 21 dollars. That's pretty insane to me. Again. When Kamui, the gift marker for Kamui first came out, it was dirt cheap. It was 15 bucks, and now that gift marker is actually going up in value. Now, fun fact, the Golden Beast Tamer, the common imaginary gift is actually a dollar to two bucks so if you guys have any of these common uh, golden beast tamer gift markers laying around they actually do have value they're 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 like a dollar to two bucks i'm pretty sure you can sell them for like two bucks each and of course but not least the bought out gift markers the old corn gift marker is gone someone actually bought it for 150 well actually i'm pretty sure last time the corn gift marker someone listed up for 150 uh the kenji gift marker i'm pretty sure no one even listed it up and now the the asuka gift marker is officially bought out asuka gift markers are gone they're nowhere in the market no more so if you guys have any of the, of the asuka gift markers i'm pretty sure you can sell it for like 80 to 100 bucks i'm pretty sure you can actually get away with selling this gift Gift marker for 80 bucks that's our mark watch for today i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you guys enjoyed the video remember to hit that like button if you guys have subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel we will have more car fat vanguard content for you guys and of course leave a comment down below because i love talking to you guys i love replying to your comments so definitely leave a comment down below and i'm gonna end off this video by saying a lot of excel clans or anything with anything with excel in standard format are going up in value narukami gold paladins well especially gold paladins gold paladins are, are super money at the moment and nurakami those three clans are definitely going up in value a lot of their prices are going up again i'm assuming a lot of people are just wanting to play wanting to play more excel clans i know a lot of people want to play nurakami but the question is is nurakami going to be tier zero is nurakami going to be is nurakami going to be the best deck currently out in the format um, to, in my honest opinion, I don't think Nurkami is that broken. Like, Nurkami is a broken deck. Don't get me wrong. Nurkami is great, but I don't think Nurkami is gonna be like, is gonna be tier zero or, or tier or absolute tier one. Uh, Gold Paladins is definitely being bought out for standard format and premium format. Gold Paladin is crazy in premium format and, and pretty. Sh and I seen Gold Paladin in standard format, and Gold Paladin is really good in standard format. And of course, Murakumo is getting more support. Murakumo is definitely gonna be is, de is definitely gonna be meta again. So. All Excel decks are actually going up in value. Anything with, with Excel, even the Excel gift markers, the ones that we just saw that were dirt cheap last time, are now actually going up a little bit in value. So anything with Excel and standard format are actually going up in value. So yeah, guys, stay tuned. Tomorrow is our premium mark watch. And of course, next Thursday is our standard mark watch. And, the, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you, have, hope you guys have a good weekend. And I will miss you, miss you, love you, love you. Deuces.